Sewers carry wastewater from the drains in our homes, schools, and businesses to wastewater treatment plants that remove most pollutants from the water and return it to the bay. Like other wastewater treatment plants, the Regional Water Quality Control Plant cleans wastewater using a series of processes that remove large and small particles of pollution and kill germs. Some of these processes are modeled on nature's ways of keeping water fresh and clean in our streams and rivers. At the treatment plant, a lot of people use a combination of chemistry, biology, engineering, hydraulics, and electronics to clean up to 25 million gallons of wastewater each day. The treatment plant's goal is to separate the wastewater into two streams solids or sludge and clean water. Because most of the wastes in wastewater are biological wastes from people, the plant uses biological processes to remove the solids and clean the water. In the plant, wastewater travels through several stages of purification. Primary treatment, secondary treatment, and advanced treatment remove biological pollution and chemical wastes from wastewater. Let's look a little closer. In the first line of defense, primary treatment, the larger solid materials are removed in two steps. When sewage comes to the plant, it passes through these bar screens that catch large pieces of waste and debris. Next, the water is pumped into tanks where some material settles to the bottom and some is skimmed off the top. After primary treatment with its mechanical devices, secondary treatment begins using biological processes borrowed from nature. You've seen how water in a river or stream bubbles over rocks and tumbles over rapids? This is natural aeration. The water mixes with air and the air's oxygen feeds certain bacteria in the water which help to remove pollutants. At the treatment plant, we do this in two steps. First, we spray wastewater through a series of large plastic plates covered with a slimy layer of bacteria and fungi, some of the bugs that eat pollutants. From there, the wastewater moves into aeration tanks where even more of the pollutants are eaten by bacteria. Of course, all during the treatment process, the wastewater is tested to make sure it's being cleaned properly. In some places, primary and secondary treatment are enough to make the water clean enough to return to nature. But South San Francisco Bay is a delicate and fragile ecosystem. The Regional Water Quality Control Plant adds another filtering step, advanced treatment before water is returned to the bay. Here, much smaller particles of waste are removed as the water passes through fine filters a combination of sand and ground-up coal. This is similar to what happens in nature when water seeps into the ground and is filtered by small particles of soil. The final step is disinfection. Finally, about 12 hours after it first enters the plant, wastewater is clean enough to return to the bay. But not all of it goes out the plant's outfall at the edge of the baylands. Some of the water goes into the marsh we've built just east of the Bayshore Freeway. The marsh supports hundreds of migrating birds in winter and fall. About one and a half million gallons of clean water, the plant's effluent, flows into the marsh each day. And it takes the water about 12 days to pass through the marsh before entering Matadero Creek and moving on into the bay. About a million gallons each day go through additional treatment processes to become reclaimed water, safe to use on landscaping of all kinds. But what about all the solids that are removed from the wastewater on its way through the plant? The sludge is burned in the plant's incinerator. From 50 tons of sludge each day, what can you do? You can protect the bay by making sure the sewage your house or school sends to the treatment plant is the right kind of sewage, biological waste, that the plant's biological treatment methods can handle. Some of the things that should not go down your sink or toilet are paints.
chemicals, heavy oils and grease, pesticides and fertilizers, Metals in the sewer are some of the plant's biggest problems. Mercury is one metal that is so toxic, just a few thermometers broken in people's sinks each day can send a dangerous amount of poison onto the bay. When tree roots clog your home's sewer pipes and cause backups, call a professional to cut out the roots mechanically. In just one dose, the root-killing products you buy in hardware stores to pour down your toilet contain enough copper to pollute 20 million gallons of bay water. If you have old thermometers or leftover pesticides or root killers at your house, don't put them down the drain or in the trash. Take them to a household hazardous waste drop-off day. Remember when we talked about storm drain pollution? Whatever goes into our streets and gutters washes into storm drains when it rains and this pollution goes straight to the creeks and bay with no wastewater treatment at all. These days, polluted runoff and storm drain pollution are the biggest sources of pollution in the bay. Make sure you and your neighbors protect the bay by protecting storm drains. When you or a family member change the oil or other fluids in your car, collect the oil or radiator water and recycle it. Don't dump it down a storm drain. Wash cars on a lawn or dirt area, not in a driveway or street where soapy water can flow to a storm drain. Use a bucket of soapy water and put it down the sink when you're done. Better yet, use a commercial car wash. They recycle their water and send it down the sewer to the treatment plant. Even pet waste causes problems when it gets into a storm drain and ends up in a creek where wildlife live. Pick up after your pet. Remember not to clean paintbrushes in the street or gutter. You can clean water-based paintbrushes right in the sink. Oil-based paintbrushes need to be cleaned with paint thinner. Leftover thinner and paint should go to a household hazardous waste drop-off event. If you have a swimming pool or a hot tub that needs draining, be sure the water comes to the treatment plant, not the gutter or storm drain. Remember, the water we send back to the bay today could be next year's rainfall. It's the same old four billion year old water, and it's up to all of us to keep it healthy. <laughs>